And we're live. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Staberia TV. I'm Andonis. And today is a very special day. Finally, the day we everybody wanted. And I was waiting so long. I have exciting news for you. Maybe you know already, but maybe you don't. So we have a special guest today here. Is the new designer. Uh, we have a new member in uh, design, uh, under designer team in uh, Stamberia. An amazing person. Amazing, amazing, amazing YouTuber. Amazing creator. And let me introduce to you to Vicky Papayonu. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Antonis. Thank you for the nice words. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here in the Stamperia family. And you can say, you can tell how excited I am to have my collection. Yeah, it's amazing. Guys, I don't know if you know Vicky. I, you know, like I remember seven, eight years ago, I, I, I was watching her, all her videos on YouTube. She's an amazing, amazing designer and, of course, an amazing person. I don't know if you ever met her in person, but she's just a very sweet and very humble person that, you know, don't forget. At the same time, she has almost 100 or I think more than 170,000 subscribers on YouTube. Vicky, tell us about yourself. I think the people, they want to just, you know, know something, know a little bit about you. Yeah, so for uh, those who don't know me, I'm Vicky Papayoano and I live in Greece. I worked for the last 10 years, about 10 years, as a mixed media artist and an independent craft designer. I do have my YouTube channel where I share lots of videos from start to finish where you can see what I do. I started as a card maker, but um, I'm going to talk a little bit about that later on and why I transitioned into a journaling since it gives me more freedom and um, a way to express myself better creat yeah, I know, creatively. I know you do a lot of things, but the, the most the most exciting always for me was the art journaling. The art journaling, yes. And it is for me the big love of mine. Once I started, yeah. it is addictive. I didn't uh, stop. I'm sure that now we haven't <clears throat> talked to anybody. I mean, we have already... Uh, 139 people watching right now. We have a lot of comments. Uh, we have friends from everywhere. I'm sure you have fans watching right now. Uh, you know, Vicky is very popular already. She doesn't need us anything. I mean, she was <laughs> always popular. Uh, she's like she meant to be. She meant to 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 do that. I mean, she's very good in creating. And I just remember, I want to say about one of the on your or my favorite uh, art journal pages you have is that one with the teacups. You remember the, the of teacups? Of course, I know. I yeah, yeah. Ne I will e never going to overcome this one. Everyone loves this one. I will never make a second project as as good as this. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's my nemesis. Project. I know. <laughs> so we have people. Uh, uh, Vicky, just let's give uh, like two three yes, minutes. Maria, yeah, Laura. we have like. If I start from the top, it's like Cleo, Lynn, Brenda. Uh, <sighs> Also, you, you say, <laughs> yeah, already. Uh, we have Karin, we have Roberta, we have uh, Scotosa. I mean, it's like so many people who have like Hi, plenty everyone. of Thank comments you. saying hello. I think they're excited. Uh, sunny Belgium, Johannesburg. Oh, wow, man. All over yeah. the world. Yeah. And today, guys, Vicky, she's going to show us the new collection uh, in collaboration, uh, here collaboration with Stamberia. Uh, very excited, very excited. I, 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 kn I knew that like a couple of months ago and super, super. Now we can see on the screen, uh, we can see her video. Let's go. Let's play the video, Omar. Let's play the video. Hi, I'm Vicky Papayoanu and I'm a mixed media artist and craft designer. Welcome to Create Happiness, my very first collection for Stamperia. Beautiful products and masks for supplies to get addictive. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Hopefully everybody's yeah. excited here. Okay. Tell me, tell me how you feel. Uh, it's, a, it's a dream come true. And uh, Stamperia has welcomed me so much. They are so warm and they say yes to everything. So <laughs> it is amazing, yes. And um, I don't know, it, it's uh, overwhelming, the feelings. After 10 years to have your own collection of what you really love. Yeah. Yeah, and I think, and I th I think Vicky took so long. I mean, it took you so are, long, eh? Yeah, yeah, you are, you are very good. I mean, you are it's something. Uh, I'm one of those, you know, better because we've talked a lot. 
but uh, I'm I don't like to get out of my comfort zone. So it's know, a step I, I, I always wanted to take, but I was like, yes, then oh my God, should I do it? Should I don't? But uh, I'm so happy now that uh, it is real. I have I have to to say to everybody that watching that. Vitis is not just, uh, you know, maybe sometimes under, under, you know, it's behind the scenes. So people know her name when I go and travel and teach all over the world pretty much. They know who she is, uh, but she's not a person that is like, you know, she does her videos on YouTube, uh, got a lot of views, a lot of videos. She's like, like really long time there. She has a big following, but still she's not a person that she will come in front of the camera and start, you know, talking and, and go teaching around. Uh, but but she's she's just too humble, humble. But but you have to understand that she's super popular. I mean, she's super, super, super popular. Everybody knows about know talking about Vicky. Wherever you are, they know because she, she works with so many companies. She has a like a great YouTube channel. She's a big influencer. So it's for me. That's why I say it took so long. I, I would expect to have her own collection because you know to, to have an, your own collection is very nice, uh, very nice feeling, and, and you can you can play you know with your stuff and you don't have lim limitations anymore. So this is very 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 important. That's true. That's true. Uh... I don't know. It's a, it's a it's a big step for me, and it's so exciting. Uh, and you will see. I have uh, some of my products that um, are a reference to all the uh, art journal projects that I did. Okay, so as cool. I will show you one by one, I will talk about it and how inspiration came. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to that. I, I, yeah. I'm sure that people want to like. Okay, let me let me put myself out. Okay, let's let's stay like this. This is beautiful. So. Uh, Talk about, I mean, show us whatever you want. Let's, let's okay. Put... I'm going to start with the journals first, yeah, because this is the core. And um, before I start showing you everything, I'm going to talk a little bit about that because I get every time the same question why on a book? Why not on a canvas? Why not or, or, or something else? And uh, the answer is that sometimes we want to be creative just for ourselves, it is very therapeutic. You just see it. For one hour, you play with your paints, you play with your rice paper, your acrylics, and uh, your stencils. Have fun inside the book. If you don't like it, you close the, the book, you, you put it aside, you don't care. It's not for the wall to put on the wall and for everyone else to criticize. It doesn't have to be perfect and there are no, no rules. So I like... that's what I always say. Vicky, this is, this is the first time I'm hearing this from someone. This is a very good, actually, perspective. Yes. This is a this is a little book that you can do whatever you want inside there, and you can only show it in the people you want. If you yes. don't, if you, if you if you never want to share with with other people, you just keep it in your drawer, and this is your little yes. treasure book that you can like be free. Very nice. This is very, an amazing true. perspective. Amazing. Plus, you will be able to see that as you work through the pages, you will evolve as an artist you learn the techniques better and you can see the first page and the last page are going to be really dif different. And at the same time, you will find your very own style because you start to play with your things and you see what techniques are best for you. Because let's be honest here, we all use the same techniques and just mix and match everything, different colors, different combinations. And we end up with our very own style. And the, the last thing that uh, is great to play in an art journal is uh, you can see it as an art exercise. Before you go ahead and do a bigger project, like on a canvas, you can always try color combinations. You can see what uh, colors work best for you or what style works for you. You can learn about the, the mediums. Does this work with that? Does it match? Can yeah. I go over it with something else? I think, I think Vicky, everything you say so far applies to one thing. And, 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 and us, I mean, when I say us, me and you, we know better because we are from a country, European country, that, that the mentality is totally different of, of, of why, why we craft. So yeah. uh, if, you, if you go in US, uh, Canada, Australia, the mentality is different. So the people, they, they, they haven't understand yet that why they craft. They, they think sometimes in Europe, you see people that they craft because they think, oh, I have to make something so I will decorate my house. But, but at the end of the day, we craft because we want a way out from our everyday yes. life. 
okay, it's the process, want, not, not the yes. end result. It's, it's not the result. The exactly. It's all about the experience, it's all about the process. So the people, they have to understand that this is which are journaling. It's not necessary to be something that you will place it on your wall, you will place it on your, or your coffee table. It can be just one, two, three hours a day, just expressing yourself, no limits, no worry about anything, and just, you know, open just, your book. Just have fun. Yeah, and you exactly. know, at the end of the day, if you don't like it, close the book. It's just paper. Yeah, yeah. Nothing exactly. can go wrong. Or yeah, exactly. you can go yeah. over it with Jesso. Jesso is my eraser. And go, go again. Through. And go, go again. Good to go. So the most important thing to start is to have an art journal. You can work on different types of journals. It can be any book that you like. However, if you want to play with sprays, if you want to add water, if you want to add acrylic paints, you want the paper to be quite thick. So we went through a big research with Stamperia and we finally found a paper that is really great. This is the paper and you can see I have these two sizes. This is the A5 the, uh, and the A6. And uh, for my American friends, if you open up the book, this is an A4 European standard or about a letter size. And this is half of it. Okay, so you can play on either uh, side, either size, whatever you like. Now, the paper is quite thick. This is about, this is 300 GSM. That means, and I will demonstrate at the end, I will go through Adonis. Do you think that is a good idea? I can go through all the products one by one and show everything yeah. and then... Yeah, I think, I think everybody would love to, to see yes. more things and then we see so, how the time is and everything. Yes, of course. And then I can add uh, some uh, things on top of this paper so that you can see that it doesn't bleed at the back. If I add a lot of uh, water, this is going to stay nice and straight. So you don't have to glue, which is something that we do in our journaling. You don't have to glue two pages together. You can go and work front and back of each of those pages. And this is really important. So well, I give you this size, which is the big one, and the smaller one, which is really cute. And you can work on this. I'm going to show you examples, like 10, uh, 10 minutes a day to make I something think, really quickly. I feel, I feel Vicky at the same time uh, because... You know, people hear sometimes they, you know, like art general. What is art general? It's something different. Yeah, there are some, there are some kind of techniques that you can use in art general more than when you do, like when I do my projects. But at the same time, you can work on those books with whatever you want. Is yes. that correct? Is that correct? Yes. The only, the only limitation is um, dimension. You can go, you cannot yeah. go really dimensional because uh, you know it's going to turn up like like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, but still, but still, you can go maybe one level up. I mean, one, two levels is not a problem. Yes, yes, yes. You can stick yeah. paper on top. You can go with rice paper. You can uh, go with a chipboard. Yeah, sometimes cuts, chip, yeah, that can work. Chipboard yeah. die cuts are, are fine. It is going to end up uh, a little bit thicker, but it's going to be loved, and you will love it when yeah, it yeah, becomes exactly. thick enough. Because we we love that. I mean, I think this is a nice nice way to look also. Yes. Then, so this is the paper one, mixed media paper. Then we do have this, which is really special. This is a oh, big okay. favorite. You will love it. It is full you know? of stone paper. No. Yes. Stone paper from to back, all of it. Oh, Which guys, means that guys, you can do, do you so that? many techniques. You cannot hear it. You can guys, do that. guys, did you hear that? This is amazing. You know? And then the techniques here are, are awesome. Yeah. You, you work with uh, stone paper a lot. You know that you do that uh, leather technique. And uh, things like that, and you can Vicky, definitely do that here. Vicky, you said the magic word. I know from the classes also. Look, no stone paper. I need the stone paper one. Get yes. out of stone paper. Whoa, oh yeah, the stone paper. This Everybody, is the one. Everybody's this going now. Stone paper, stone paper. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I knew this is going to be exciting. And you know, you get this one again on A4, uh, on A5, and A6. So you can uh, can I ask something, Vicky? Because this is not like really relevant with um, uh, with the techniques and the technical part. But I, I, I see the cover. Is that is that cork? No, it looks like it, but it is printed. I wanted all the covers to be quite neutral, so no matter yeah, your exactly. style, 
And no matter what you do inside, you can decorate it afterwards. I never decorate from the beginning because I walk inside and it's going to ruin. But at the end of the day, when you finish, you can decorate it. And that's why I kept everything quite uh, neutral. And there are no labels everywhere, anywhere, front and back, as you can see. So you can personalize it. It doesn't have my logo. It doesn't have... Yeah, yeah, it doesn't have it. I, li I like this, uh, like the, the minimal and very earth yeah. material. Very beautiful. It, it gives what? you the opportunity to, to do whatever let, you like. Well, so although it you. looks like cocoa, it's not. It's paper. Very it's nice. stone paper. This one is stone paper. Yeah, yeah, of course. Helena, Helena Strom, uh, probably Strom is like from Norway or Finland or, or from Sweden. Uh, she said, never try that. So probably she's talking about stone paper. So, you know, Helena, uh, if you go with stone paper, you never go back. I'm just telling you this. I mean, this is just, just an amazing, an amazing product. Okay, for those, Omar is asking about the stone paper. So for those who don't know, stone paper is a paper that you cannot, it is made out of um, stone. Yes, stone yeah. powder. And, uh, there's some, there's some, yeah, we don't really know how they make it, but it's really, really strong paper. I mean, it's really, really strong. You cannot tear it apart and it is resistant to everything. It is resistant to everything. I cannot tear it. You can see, I can use scissors and I can cut it. I can yeah. chew it. So I did try that through my sewing machine like this, because these are very flexible. You see, I can do that and that. No, no, yeah, you easily... can show it. You can uh, die cut it. You can emboss it, fold it. You can wash it in the washing machine. Of course, you cannot put yeah. the whole thing you in the washing machine. You can stick rice paper. You can yeah. use pastes. You can yeah. uh, go with acrylic paints, of course, and sprays. It's amazing. And I will yeah, right. share lots of examples. Yeah, it's very, it's very resistant. I mean, this is the most important... Uh, yeah, and then for both of them, you start on white paper. Correct. And I know that there is a fear of white paper, of the blank page. They don't know where to start. So I've got you covered. This is for you. If you are a beginner, this is a great one because this, my friends, has 80 pages and all the pages are removable since you do have the rings. So you can take it out and work on it separately and this paper is already printed so you get 80 eight designs i don't know if you can see them all the pa I can all see the designs. it's different designs it's different designs yes yeah. they are different designs and they are very subtle so they give you something to start with but at the same time they are not very restricted like at the end you may not see a, at all but it is very helpful when you don't know where to start. So here, for example, there is some text. I don't know if you can see with all the lighting that I have on my room. But uh, I'm sure see. you will see the catalog at the end. So you can see the different designs, eight different designs. And this is the darker yeah. one. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yes, and uh, now this paper, every paper on all the journals is different. So this was 300 GSM, which is the thicker one. Depending on the mediums that you want to work, you can interchange. This is the, um, the stone paper, and this one is like the, um, uh, I think it's 100 and, what is the scrapbook paper? This is the scrapbook 100, paper. Thick. Around 175 or 85. Okay, like, that's the 180, okay. I think, GSM. Yeah, yeah, like that, yeah. I'm not sure, but this is the quality that you get for the uh, scrapbook paper. So, which means that here you cannot throw a bucket of water. It's going to work. Okay, if you want to do that and add a, a lot of liquid, then you should go with this one. So, you get lots of options, but this is great if you want to mainly stay with uh, scrapbooking techniques where yeah. you create yeah. a cluster, you stick things. You can go ink blending, of course, and a little bit of uh, watercolor you can do, as long as you don't do a lot of, uh, you don't add a lot of water. Yeah, at the same time, at the same time, everybody has to understand here that, you know, guys, uh, Vicky, she has uh, a lot, a lot of videos and she will, she will make, of course, and, yes. and so and show everything about the products, how she works, how she uses them. Uh, she, we're gonna have again lives, so it's just just go and follow here on YouTube and, and find me. It's Vicky Papayon, which her name on YouTube, and and you will see like videos that how she she gonna work 
uh, with I those know, products. Also, today I'm going to show you lots of examples in every one of those journals. And for uh, every we one of the... We want to see now. <laughs> yeah, if, uh, I'll show you first. You have to wait. And uh, I will show you lots of examples. And for every one of the examples, I will come with a how-to tutorial on my YouTube channel, just like always. Yeah. So now, Vicky, let's Vicky, I'm, I'm, sweat I'm sweating here, just know. Yes, <laughs> I know. I can see you <laughs> hanging there. I, I'm going to take it from here. Uh, so now I'm going to bring in the rest of the collection. Very nice. Now, you do have the base, which is the, the journal. And usually I go ahead and play with my mediums to create a background. For the background, I design five stencils. The stencils are really versatile. I had in my mind always the beginner. If you don't know where to start, if you want to have something that is really versatile and matches every style, then I have some stencils for you. This is a stencil, which is the borders. You can see many different borders. Even you get this edge, and um, you can mask off areas if you want to use only that, for example. When I saw this, this stencil, I was like, oh, you're so genius. Very nice. I like, li you know, I like the, the reef paper. It's just yes. amazing. Very yeah. good. And, uh, for, Very good. You can go with a small blending and go like this. Not this one. There are smaller ones. Yeah, yeah, anyway, and go uh, through that or you can mask. Use your masking tape, and you can use only the part that you like. And there is another one with borders. This is more whimsical one, like lace and with lots of hearts and something like vines and etc. So these are, and you can see here also, you get a lovely border. And I wanted to have a corner as well, so you place it like that. Yeah, it's. I when know it's very hard. Here. Yeah, it's very hard. So just so there. Yeah, it's very hard because it's white. Yeah. Maybe here. Yeah, I think you you already have samples, right? So we you gonna yes, show. Yes, I have, I have, I have. Yeah, but yeah. I'm keeping them from for the last. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. I think okay. people can wait then also to see. I do have three stencils. These are very basic stencils. These stencils can take you. You can use those forever. Okay, this is one with text and uh, some letter and uh, dots and, uh, you know, all those pluses. Here's another one with text and some postal uh, stamps. And the one for, um, with the compasses and lots of uh, pluses. So I think uh, between all those stencils, if you do have those, you can go ahead and create pretty much any type of, uh, any style. It works for everything. They are your basic stencils. Then I move on to the next one. So this is the my <laughs> my absolute favorites are my ephemera, and these are perfect for creating your focal points. I gave a lot of thought on what to add on this package. I'm going to open it up for you, and so you can see. So let's say you do have a lovely background, you play it with your acrylic, you play it with everything else, and now you want to add something on top. In this one, you will find focal points which are really big and others which are smaller. So the big ones are a hotter balloon, an open book, a camera, boots, and of course, the teacups. Yeah. The famous teacups, Antonis. Amazing. So, <laughs> so, you can play with the rest of the elements. You will find butterflies here. You will find uh, flowers and leaves and stuff. These are matte. Okay. I, 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 want, I want to ask you that they have some kind of like vintage vibe. Yes. The design is kind of watercolor and uh, a little bit of vintage, but uh, really bright, colorful uh, um, colors. And uh, the idea is that you can you can actually go shabby sick with them. You can go romantic with them. You can add a little bit of brown and make them look more uh, vintage. Yeah. They, I think they are really versatile. For a beginner, they are perfect. And the size is quite big. So they make a great focal point for this size of journal. Of and you will see examples in a bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. 
they make a good size. So you can see the background that you have worked so hard to create, but at the same time, you do have a focal point that really stands out. And of course, you can decorate it. You have flowers coming out of the boots. You can decorate uh, with flowers and stuff. You will find also that these are self-adhesive. Oh, so yes. they're, they're stickers, pretty much. They are stickers. And yeah. they are like uh, the good quality of 300 GSM, so they are really thick. Ah, they're thick. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. That's very good to know. Really thick. And um, if you don't want to bother of peeling them off, or if you want to raise them a little bit, you don't need to peel off the backing. To tell you the truth, I don't even bother to peel them off. I just use the glue and stick them down. I find it easier. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, it de depends on, uh, on the person. You do get the option to stick them, however. And um, what else should I say? They are th thin, yes? It's uh, Astamperia, this is the first time that comes up with Ephemera. They did have their die cuts, like the clear die cuts and the yeah. chip ports, but this is great for journaling because it doesn't add bulk. Okay, that's nice. I know, and, I know, uh, I know what you're thinking, and I see your point, and, and I like that. You know that you come with, uh, you know, with some basic designs that they are going to give you the focal point, and 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 uh, and you know here we have pretty much five uh, different themes, right? Uh, you yes. can you can make an art journal about about photography. You can make about travel. You can make about coffee and tea and and reading and books, and and then you have something like totally like about flowers and nature with the boots, and exactly. then you have also, yeah, that's that's amazing. Exactly. That's very nice. Then I'm going to put those aside for now. Then we have the stamps. So for your backgrounds, you may need your stamps. This is a very basic background stamp. You will get your coffee stains, a couple of text stamps. One is a script one, the other one is a typed one. You will get lots of, um, you see here, I do have three of them which are great for uh, stamping the background. Create, you know, the visual, uh, texture that we always want, some numbers and things like that. And then you do get the alphabet. In my journals, at least that's my style, I like to add the motivational quote, something that makes me happy. And uh, I like to browse through internet and find uh, motivational quotes and I keep them on a little notebook. And when it comes time to do my journaling, I like to bring those up. So I usually combine uh, letters from an alphabet stamp so that I can put together the words that I want to emphasize. And that's where this stamp comes. It is really whimsical. I like how it has all those little uh, wiggles at the bottom. I find it really adorable. And you will see how it comes together on the, on the journals that I made in a bit. Vicky, doesn't exist in art journal you do without lettering. <laughs> <It's> yes. Like... <laughs> so I had to go with an, with an alphabet. Oh, yeah. And, and this is a very good more, idea. These are the rabbons. The rabbons are great for our journaling because uh, they are flat again. And um, you, you can easily add a little element to dress up that extra touch. Now, the way you... Uh, let me show you. This one is white, so you cannot really tell, but I'm going to take it out for you so you can see. One of the most difficult things is to add white on a finished project. So you, you do have to go and do embossing or you do have to go and do with white, uh, white gel pen which doesn't, that doesn't always work great. It doesn't work, so doesn't here, work always good, the gel pen. Yes. So here I do have some text. Rabon. Very nice. Very Super cool. Super easy. You just cut out. Always cut out. Don't put the whole thing on top of your project because other areas may stick on your project. I just go ahead and cut out the pieces that I want, like just cut out the butterfly. Doesn't have to be perfect. Roughly cut it out. You stick it and uh, you are good to go. So here you get the borders. And these can work as borders, but they can work out as other elements as well, like a stem, for example. A stem and you can add a flower on top. You are good to go. I will show you an example of this one. So you get, uh, and of course you get this, which match the collection, the of specific course. ephemera. Why, and, why, why you started with uh, uh, some flowers? I think they are really versatile, the flowers. Yeah. That's why. 
And uh, you can easily dress up everything here. For the beginner who doesn't know what to do, yeah, you yeah, just what, take this yeah. and you, you put the flowers underneath, you are good to go. You know, you have something there. You are creative yeah. without being so difficult. And you can yeah. come up with uh, more than five ideas, although these are the five big ones. It doesn't mean that you can come up with only five. I'll show you more examples. So, of course, people, I think through through this presentation, people, have, they have to understand that what is what is our journal and, and, and how fun it is. And, yes. and you, you're giving them like some tools, uh, very easy steps, very easy things to, to, to so they can have fun and relax and, and, and be proud for themselves. And, and then I, I'm sure that in the future you will come with, you know, more ideas and more ideas. And, and, yes, and, the idea for the first collection was to kind of introduce it and bring exactly. more people into this hobby, for example. But exactly. of course, keep in mind that if you do have the books, if you do have some basic stencils, you do have your acrylics, you already have your pastes, then you can definitely go ahead and work with your scraps from any other Stamperia collection, for example. You yeah, know, it's yeah, a great course, way. Yes, it's a great way to use what is left out from another big project. Yeah. Is the so fun. Now, is the fun. This is this is really fun. Now, this is the mat glue. Of course, yours is not going to come like that. It's going to have a nice level and everything. Mine is the prototype, that's why. I want to have a glue that uh, doesn't smell, that is uh, very uh, fluid, so you don't have to squeeze really hard to, for it to come out. But at the same time, it is matte. So if you are very, you know, messy, and you want to stick that here, for example, and you go like that and you add too much, and this is going to ooze out from everywhere, don't worry. Just do that. It's going to completely disappear when it dries. And it's not going to change your project at all. Plus, it's not sticky. I don't it's believe water -based. it. Water-based. But keep in mind, this is not a, a glue to replace your extra fort. How do you call this extra fort glue? Extra fort, the extra strong, yeah. Yes, the extra strong. Because if you want to stick your uh, clear die cuts inside your journals, then of course you have to go with that. Yes. But I'm very, I'm very confused. I'm very confused, uh, Vicky. I don't believe it that the, the, the glue disappear. Disappears. It's going to disappear. It's not going to be matte. It's not going to have any sign part there. It's not going to say have any sign once it dries completely. So Amazing. when you put it Amazing. on a project and it comes out a little bit all the way from the from the edges, it's not going to be a sign. I want, and, I want the glue, send me some. <laughs> I'm still with the prototype. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you can do your, um, your covering with that as well, instead of the mixed media glue. Nice. The mixed media glue has, uh, yeah, it's, it's not shiny. Yeah. It's, it's satin. It's satin. It's between. Satin. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's yeah. satin. And after doing all the techniques at the top, you don't see sign at all. But uh, I just wanted to have something uh, like that. So that this is that. And now for the start of the show, are you ready? I'm is ready. everyone ready? Yeah, I know. Yeah. The new wings. Nice. Yeah. So these are the new ink pads by Stamperia. After a lot of research, they have found these ones, which are amazing. They are dye inks. Dye inks means that uh, they are blendable. They are your basic inks for stamping. They stamp beautifully. We start with six colors. And I went kind of vintage, I would say. You know, you want the, your black, definitely, so you can stamp for your backgrounds. You want the brown, so you can do the, you know, the, the old look you can get. Then I do have two blues. The navy blue and the cerulean blue. I'm going to show you the the colors. Okay, let's start. Want to see the, the colors? Yeah, 100%. Okay, I'm going to show you the colors then. So this, this book that I'm working on is the paper one, okay? The thick paper one with the 300 DSM. This is the blue. Yeah. 
And this is the navy blue. Vicky, I like the, the, the pigment is big, is a lot. Yes, of course, it depends with what type of brush you go, yes? If you go with this one, you get a better blending because this is very soft. You see? Ah, okay. okay, I got you. And of course, with this one, I can, I can pick up a lot of ink. With okay. this, I don't. But this, if you are new to blending and you don't want to get, you know, those harsh. Yeah, you need something like softer, yeah. You, you need something softer. And uh, the, the idea here is actually not to do the perfect blending. This is art journaling. And at the end of the day, if you don't like it, just go with water. Okay, I'm going to show you some of the tips here. Go with water, you see, it moves. Very nice, amazing. You can't see those uh, uh, circles anymore. Okay, then uh, let's do the rest of the colors. This is the burgundy, gorgeous color. This is the nature, it's your basic green. And then of course we get the brown and the black. Vicky, do they blend together? When you blend two colors together, do they change? Yes, they blend beautifully. I'm going to show you in a bit. Very nice. This is your brown. And of course, I add a lot of pigment here, yes? You can yes, go yeah. really light if you want. And the back. Now, you can go and blend the colors together. Let me go with uh, what? Let's go with blue and green. I will use the blue. And I'm adding a lot of color, which means that it's not going to be very easy to move it around, yes? And then you can go with that. And you have the perfect blending here. Very easy. The fun part, water. Go over with water which means that you get a lot of techniques that you can do with that. Let it sit for a few seconds. And then I'm going to use a paper towel. Yeah, classic, very nice. You have an instant background like that. You don't need anything else. Just do some stamping on top, stick a flower and you are good to go. Very nice. So these are the inks, and uh, we need to do a whole um, live for those so that I can see so all the techniques and stuff. But I, I have, think that you get the idea. I have a feeling that uh, there are more colors to come. <laughs> yes, I think so too. I think so too, yes. But I think it is a, great, a good start so that you can try them out, and you will see that the pigment is beautiful. They stamp beautifully as well. Let me stamp something. But I have a question. Uh, probably I, ha I haven't read the, the um, I haven't read the comments here. But I'm pretty much sure that some people wondering right now that you can use to stamp. Okay, you 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 put your stamping, but then you want to go and play on top of the stamp with another color or to paint or to blend or to use a baby wipe, whatever. How how you can keep your stamp like on place and to not get destroyed from any other liquid product? You need to keep in mind that this is water-based, so this is going to move if you go with um, with something liquid on top. Yeah. You need to, it's not a permanent. However, okay. there are workarounds. You can go with Vaseline on top, which is going to seal it down. You can go with your mixed media glue. But if you apply it, you need to make sure that your brass wasn't dipped in water. Perfect. So you go with something that is like the glue, for example, that I have. Where is my glue? I, I took it. I took it. <laughs> <laughs> so you can go, for example, with a glue on top. You can go with a glue like that and okay. apply it with a brush. And it's not going to remove it at all? My brush oh, is dry. Okay. My brush is dry. If it was in the water, yeah, it's of going course. to move it. Okay. It is going to blend a little bit, but if I do it very softly over it, 
without yeah, yeah. doing that, you know. Yeah, 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 I understand. Yes, yes. Without doing that. And now this is sealed. Yeah. It is going Very to nice. dry and it's going to be sealed. So you can do whatever you like. Yeah, also. then you can go and play on top. Yeah, very yeah, nice. But all, you need always to keep in mind that this is uh, water-based. It's not permanent. Uh, if you don't do something like that, it's going yeah. to move on you. It's going to bleed. Yeah. We have a question. Caroline uh, says, can you, can you emboss it? Yes, you can. Because it is dyeing. And uh, if you move quite fast, you can. I will okay. uh, demonstrate it in another video. Very nice. Yes. So you can definitely stamp with them. Beautifully. Yeah. And they don't dry on you. And very easy, yeah. Yes. This is felt. And they don't dry. It's going to last you for years. So these are the inks. And now, what do you want to see? Examples. This, this is all your beautiful stuff? <laughs> I think no, I've, let's go. I've gone through everything. We've seen let's, the ephemera, the stamps, the stencils, the rabbons, the glue, the inks. Let's everything. go now to what the people waiting for. We have yes. a record. I, I think this is the record. I don't remember in any of the lives we have so many people watching at the same time. We have 355 people right wow. now. Wow. <laughs> this is this is if I'm not mistaken, is, is a record by far. I mean, usually it's 100, 120, 150. I don't know if it ever was 200, but right now we're 359. This is I'm so happy. So, so and happy everybody, about. everybody, I will put ourselves away. Everybody waiting to see the samples everybody okay. i'm sure so i'm i'm going to show you first samples on the ring journal okay this is this is the ring journal the one with the uh, the pre printed pages and i'm going to show you one page so for every one of the focal points oh. remember the focal points Oh, Vicky is already looking good. Here you are, the big focal points, yes? So this is the first one. This is my bloom. You see, I used the boots and I dressed them up with the rest of the flowers. And at the background, you can see other details like the stencil. These are the borders. And yeah, here is... you can see some of the stenciling. I think this border is like, like the classic envelope. Used to yes. be the envelope we, we yes. mail. Yeah. That's a classic Brilliant. envelope. So this is the stencil with the heart. You can see some stamping and you can see here it's the new inks. The inking at the back is again with inks. And remember, this is scrapbook paper, yes? But it works just fine. I did the inking here. Then here's another one. <clears throat> this is the one with the balloon. Again, you can see some of the stencils at the back for creating borders, lots of stenciling and stamping. This is uh, with volume paste. This volume paste is amazing, Adonis. Yeah, I know, this is the new. Uh, now, I'm not gonna say anything, but it's amazing paste, I know. <laughs> I, yes, it is, I, I like be, because it's be saying, we need, we, need, we need something new, it's, yes. it's, and it's amazing. You know what, I am very impatient when I work with stencils and I cannot wait for, I cannot wait for it to dry. Darling, so, I gave I, I if this is what I believe it is because I haven't got in my in my in my hands yet. I gave a sample. I, I think I, I I no I gave a sample. I said exactly what 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 from what what and and we, I, I I can't wait to have this in my hand. If, if this you is, are behind this, you are awesome because this yeah. One no, dies. no, I'm not. I'm not behind like like of the idea. Just I got yeah. in my hand something that I said. Okay, this is what we need. And and yes. and, and if I'm if if this is what. It I is. believe it is. This is and this, this is, is what I need for sure. And this is doesn't, what I need it for sure. And doesn't it doesn't really quickly. Step, yeah? Cleans it very easy for the stencils. Yes, but super easy for the stencils. It doesn't go underneath because it's really thick and it dries quickly. You don't have to wait and uh, do the you know oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. for ages. Amazing. So you can see here. This is the example with the balloon, and uh, you can see some of the the alphabet here. Yes, as well as on the bloom. Then this is the one with the books. 
I just have some butterflies coming out of the book and I dressed it underneath with a little bit of flowers. Again, you can see many details, like for example here, the borders, lots of stenciling at the backgrounds. Here are the teacups. Oh, oh my God. These are the teacups. I have some flowers coming from inside, addressed up a little bit on the sides. And you can uh, go ahead and do your very own composition with all the flowers that you get in the bag. I do have a, a couple of uh, butterflies here. And this is the, the example with the um, camera. I just dressed it up with the flowers and you're good to go, bam. You see the background here is pre-printed. I didn't add any color here, yeah. only the black stamping and the border. And and I see exactly this is what I, I want to talk about now is that this is the amazing stencil that you can create amazing border. I love that. Yes. The border plus you get the, the corner, which is not, not always easy to do the corner. Yeah, so these sure. were my examples for all of them on uh, the ring journal. Now I'm going to show you some examples on the A5. Ooh. Now, look at this, Antonis. I don't have any of these uh, big Nothing. focal points. Yes. yes, You can definitely go ahead and use only the butterflies. And if you look closely, you will see that I did ink blending, just like I showed you previously with the, the green and the blue. I cut yeah. out the rings and then I dressed up everything with the rabbons. These are you know, rabbons. It's amazing. It's amazing because... You know, the people will say, let me let me put ourselves back. Uh, the people will say like, okay, yeah, Vicky, very nice. Okay, we like the idea. It's not a new idea. I mean, it's like people doing journal, right? But we want to introduce more people to uh, to our journal. And, 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 and if we want to do that, I mean, it's not a better way than bringing you to the master of journal to, to just <laughs> show to everybody. But they will say, yeah, okay, Vicky, but... But I mean, we you give us five focal points, and then and then we're done, and we're gonna use the boots, we're gonna use the balloon, we're gonna use the camera, okay? Then the the, the other two, and then we're done. I mean, we don't have anything to do, and, and and it's so amazing just showing us every single layout you did. Yes. Just now we opened the book and you saw something totally different, completely, like, super, completely different, and it's made exactly with the same. Materials yes. you have been showing, so so it's li it's the limit. It's it's just to to think a little bit, like oh, you know something. I can just get get a normal paper, cut it to cut it out in rings, and then use my you know. It's 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 all about ideas, but still just yes. using the same. What products. you have, you use exactly. what you have. Here you this can see the black the black lines are uh, the rabbons, the black border rabbons. Yeah. Then but, again, you have some uh, embellishments with the rabbons. Mm. And the background was just watercolor. No, actually, it's not watercolor. You know what it is? It's that aqua color. Ah, the, I think this is from Aquamarina. Yes, one of aqua. my favorites. Yeah, I could yeah, use it yeah, all the I time. So that's, that's the background. And you, I wanted to show you here that this is uh, watercolor, lots of water and uh, lots of uh, spray. But uh, it still doesn't go at the back. And the back is a new project without interfering the one doesn't bleed on the other very nice so this so, is another example of Vicky, the camera so, sorry I, I interrupt you for my because you said something i want to talk about sorry i i i, I cut you uh so let me let me put ourselves back so my question is uh you, you watching your videos and and watching other people videos and in general about about our journal i remember it's too hot. Sorry, I have this in mind. Uh, I remember people, they stick two pages together. So yes. this is, has to do with... If it's very thin, the paper, when the page is very thin, the paint is going to bleed through at the back. So, so, you, so you need so either saying, to apply to the Better quality, better quality better paper. Quality. Because... Thicker. Because at the end of the day, I remember that, you know, and, and of course, I'm not going to say which uh, art journals I'm talking about, but they are quite popular, uh, that you always you have to stick the page together. Because, you know, I do art journal as well, like on my free time, just for fun, right? Yes. Uh, and, and, and you stick the page together uh, for the reasons you said, like to not, you know, because if you, if, if you put like inks and stuff, it's going to show 
at the back. It, it, it becomes the paper becomes wavy. Very very wavy. So and then and then I mean, what's the point of having like 50 pages inside the the R journal and then you're using only the 25 of them or 20, <laughs> and then you can have like 20 pages, let's say, or 30. You pay for 30. And, yes. and you use them, you use every single one. Yes, yes, yes. You can use all of them. You can, yeah. of course, always keep in mind that it is paper. It is thick yeah, paper. Yeah, yeah. And it's going uh, to get a little wavy, yeah, of course. Yes, I, I, I'm going to show you. Wait a minute. Look at this. This is spray, yes? Is this the stone paper one? Oh, this is the, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> you know, guys, if you don't know, we're both Greek, so we can start speaking other, I mean, yeah. something. <laughs> so this is, uh... are you ready? Okay. No way. And you know what is the most difficult thing to do on a paper? Go with an, uh, with an alcohol marker. Are you ready for that? Alcohol marker. Okay. Oh, nothing. Nothing. That's super. I, I, it's I, not wavy, you see. I did yeah, a lot yeah. of testing. A yeah, lot of, of testing. To choose yeah, yeah. the perfect one. Of course, if I throw a bucket of water, it is still paper. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. I mean, we're talking to being normal. I, I understand. Yes, what you mean. Let, let's be honest here. But still, but still, but any still. paper will, will get a little bit wavy. The only paper that doesn't get wavy is the stone paper. This is yes. by, by manufacturer. Yes. But, 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 yes. but any kind of paper will get a little bit wavy. But now this one is really amazing that that doesn't show up at the back. That's true. So here is another example. You can see some of the rabbons, the big focal point, a lot of stamping on the background. Here I created my own Polaroid. These are cutouts. You know, I, do, I just cut out rectangles. And then I do some blending with the inks, our, the, our new inks, and these are just rabbons. Yeah, yeah. If I, so, I, I will make videos for all of these projects. Are you uh, happy? Yes, I'm are, very happy. You can tell. Are you yes. happy coming back to our journaling more and more? Yes, yes, yes. Because, because I'm it's telling my big you, it's, you're, it's, yeah, you're so good on that. Yeah. And you don't have to use my collection, yes? Yeah, this 100%. This is the perfect paper to use whatever you have left over or whatever paper collection that you have. So this is another collection by Samperia. What's the name of it? Promise Garden of Promises. That's, a, that's the one. And I do have a video on my YouTube channel I did last week on this one. It was a little sneak peek. I didn't say what the journal was, but you can go ahead and see what I did. This is acrylic paint and I have no bleeding at the back. No issues at all with the page. Super. Okay. Now, just because these are big doesn't mean that you cannot work on the smaller journals. So I'm going to show you the smaller one here. Here is a variation of this one. Look at that. Amazing. Okay. A smaller one. Look at this. Although this looks so big when you put it next to that, where was that, the one with the... Here are the samples. Look at this, it looks so big, yes? Like it yeah, takes yeah. a lot of, of area. However, it fits on the smaller one. I was uh, counting inch by inch all the focal points. They are, uh, I have a lot of uh, work in uh, thought on all of them so that they can uh, work for uh, pretty much everything. Now, on this one, I'm showing you but I'm working only on one page and I do that so that you can see at the back. Ah, I didn't show you this one. So that you can see at the back <laughs> that they are completely white. Of course, I do that for demonstration reasons and uh, you don't have to work only on one page. Yes, you can work at the back as well. But when I do videos for my channel, when you have another another project next to it, they compete to each other. Yeah, yeah, they so take stakes from the, from the point yes. you want to show. So I prefer to work uh, on uh, different pages, but that's not the case for you. Definitely work on every page if you like. And of course, you can do a double spread, like this one. So here yeah. you see the balloon is so big, it's huge to add on this. 
it could take over the whole page. So don't worry about it. Just put it outside and cut it out. It's not a problem. Or you can have your focal point go over the two pages. Yeah, work on the two pages. Very simple. Work on the two pages. So here you see I work back to back on two pages or on one page. Depends on the time that you want to spend really. So these were the examples with my focal points. And I'm going to show you one more thing that I did. Now, this is very special to me. This is a little book that I work on. It's an art journal. And I'm working with leftovers from Stamparia collections. So you will see lots of uh, collections that you know here. And I do have many videos on every one of them. On my, they are coming up on my YouTube channel or on my Instagram. So this is the Fantastic Voyages, fan, Voyage Fantastic. Yes, yeah, Voyage Fantastic. Yes. This is the Garden of Promises. Correct. Every time I use my stencils at the back, I use acrylics, the main techniques that we mix and match all the time. And a little bit of cluster, a big focal point that you do with, uh, you know, fuzzy cut and stick things on top. This is the savannah. Savanna, yes. Yes. This is Pro uh, uh, Provence. Pro Pro Provence. 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 Something like yes. this. Yeah. This is Lady Vagabond. Is this Lady this Vagabond? Is, okay. Uh, yes, it's a die cut from the die cut pack. Okay. It's Very nice. And my flowers, of course. Of course, of course, yes. Then you know this one. Aviator, of course. Look at this. <laughs> Don't forget, clear die cuts are thin, the, so they are the, perfect for our journaling. Yeah, and the people sometimes asking like, hey, what would we do with the clear die cuts? Use them for decoration. I mean, why, why? Vicky, come here, look, they drive me crazy. They ask, they, they see something like, like printed on, on a clear uh, like uh, acetate. And then they are like, oh, okay, and what do I do with this? I mean, what's the difference? Yeah. Whatever you for also with the paper ones, it's like the same do you think, just decorate. I mean, just whatever Look you like. Look at them, they are beautiful and they give a, a different texture. So everything yeah. is matte and these are shiny, so they, they pop even yeah, yeah. more from the page. Then, uh, you know this one? Oh, this is my favorite, Japan. Yes, again, I so like the clear Japan, die cuts because nice. they are flat and they don't add bulk. Then this is... What is this? Oh, House. I don't House. know. Very romantic for me. I don't know. It's the house, garden house, garden house, I think it's called. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that um, you don't have to work only with the die cuts from the back. This is a small bag to get you started. The, it is going to give you lots of ideas to play with. And I show you a lot of them as examples. But the main core of the collection are the, the journals. You can do so many things with them. If you do albums, and I know lots of friends of Santeria do albums, you have so many leftovers. Make a page. It's so much fun. Yeah, I mean, this is the point. This is what I, I, I have been waiting for you to finish. So this is the thing. That, that just, just use your leftovers. This is extra fun. Doesn't need to be perfect. Doesn't need to be to be something. Yes. This is, what, this is what I want to explain. Doesn't need to be something. Doesn't need to have a purpose. It's just fun. It's just get out there and do whatever you like. Doesn't need to be for a specific reason. Yes. So that's it, Antonis. I've shown you everything and lots of products, uh, projects, I think. I think yeah. through the projects, you can see uh, how you can use everything. And uh, that uh, is just I a think beauty. I let me take out. Yeah, let me take out. Wait, well, it's so many, so many things. Omar, I need some help. I don't know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> ah, Omar, ah, it's Omar. a catalog. Yeah, catalog. Sorry, Omar. Okay, sorry. Yes. Let's, let's, let's show the catalog. But uh, yeah, Vicky, look, uh, it's, 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 it's so simple. I was very, exci very excited when I, you know, I first heard the news. And, and, and I know exactly what you're doing. I know exactly what's your style. I know exactly how happy you are. And you're going back in what you love the most. And hopefully a lot of people will understand what it's all about. And it's the best thing. 
is, is you just do it because it's fun. You just do it because it's nice. You can have a nice time. You can enjoy, relax, watch movie while you're doing it. It doesn't need yes. to be perfect. Yeah, it's 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 not it's not doesn't have a purpose. This is the it best. Doesn't have to be, yes, it's therapy. Yeah. It's uh, it's yeah. therapy. It's therapeutic. Yeah, yeah. And, and 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 the classes, uh, it's you know you learn a lot traveling. Uh, you know when you when I started teaching in Greece, I of course I had another perspective about uh, classes and what's about classes and why people coming. And then by traveling and, and, and visiting more places, I just realized that, uh, you know, many, many things and why people coming. So uh, it's, it's, it's a big, it's a big experience, a big event. It's, it's, it's a funny thing to do. So this is what, what our journal is by Vicky Papayuano. Yes. For sure. So yeah, these are the dyings. Yeah, the dyings. This is going to be fun. Almost... And, and, and I know more color will come. I'm sure. I have a feeling. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. And if I know... everybody loves our, the, the, the inks, they are going to play and love them. Yeah. Definitely more new colors will come. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And I know you went in the beginning for the like some standard colors. And and I think I think the burgundy and the, the blue, the dark blue is like very nice shade yes. of the colors. You can but blend them beautifully. It, yeah. There are going to be more to come. Yes, and, and, and we can see also here some selection. I saw, sorry, sorry, Vijay. I saw the, the you have also some uh, selection of acrylics, right? Yes, I do have a selection of acrylics that I forgot to show you. It's okay, it's okay. You want to okay. know the names? I'm gonna tell no, you the we, names. You can see here, you can see, you can tell us the names. Yeah, I, I see that you have the blue aviation, my favorite color for. Yes, let's see names. Yes, people will want to know. Really basic. The milk white and the do the dull pink and the pink are the ones that I used on this project. Yeah, at the background. Very nice. And on this one as well, at the background. Yeah, I played with uh, either with the inks or with this. But but can you play together? I mean, can you first put the acrylics dry and then play on top with things, right? Yes, yes. This is uh, which one is this? This is uh, like that. You can see the, that inking to make it look more uh, old. Yes. This is brown over uh, acrylic paint. Very nice. Brown inking over acrylic paint. And th that's the same thing here. Brown inking on the I like, uh, Vicky, I like, I like the, your choice of colors and, and the colors you made your ephemera. I mean, I really like this, this uh, vintage vibe, uh, you know, uh, I really like it. It's very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's uh, good for a uh, first collection. So yeah. uh, it, it is good for every style. If you go shabby sick, you don't use brown. You go use uh, pink and white. You can use it. If you go, yeah. you, you can even uh, use uh, gears. I think with uh, some of these, like oh, for no, the camera. No, 100 percent. Oh, no, no. I, no, I don't think the gears has to do only with camera. It could be also with the boots, and could be it's 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 all about perspective. I mean, yes, you you, you, you know gears, gears, gear. it's very versatile. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, guys, I don't know if you are excited. I'm so excited. I'm uh, by the way, I, I don't know if people know me. I'm already living in Indonesia. I'm not anymore in Greece, so I just came a few days ago here. Even Vicky didn't knew about it. Uh, <laughs> I found yeah. out yesterday. So yeah, I live in Indonesia right now, and it's super hot. And I don't have, a, we have a house, but it's not, you know, furnished yet and done. So I'm like in my parents' parents' law house. So sorry about the light, about the, you know, how it sounds. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I think it was fine. Yeah, but Vicky looks good. I like your, your, I know Vicky, probably she would spend like maybe a month to set up, to be ready, because I know how, <laughs> how, yes, how because... perfect it's supposed to be. <laughs> That's true, because although I do a lot of videos, all the videos are, you know, canned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know. Just I, know. Edit. I never yeah. do lives. I avoid lives. But uh, it was fun. Not only that. You avoid also fun. if if people follow the people they follow you, they know that you do also voiceover. You never uh, speak while you're creating. Uh, yes. So so yeah. So f it's a big honor. I mean, I have to say it's a big honor for you. For <laughs> I us get to a great guest. And yeah. it took the anxiety out of me, so it was great. It was great. Yeah, now, I, I, we need, I, before we close, we need yes. to say that all of these products are going to be in the shops at the end of uh, the month. Okay, end that's of the month. Good, right? Very soon. Yeah. If you do have a shop, 
make sure that you you can order now. If uh, you don't have a shop but you want them, go ahead to your favorite craft shops and tell them that uh, you want uh, the collection. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, you might think, oh yeah, I'm from Spain. Okay, Spain, nobody does our general, okay, I'm going to find the products. No, you are not. Because Stabere will produce and, and then the Americans will take all. The Americans, they will take all and us in Europe, or anyway, I'm not in Europe, but Europeans, we're not going to get nothing. So you better go do something. Get ask some about them. Yes, because no, I say it in a funny way, but it's true. I have a feeling that you know, the, it's, 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 it, I think many, many Americans, Australians, Canadians, they have been waiting for Vicky to come out with a collection. And right now, all the big sellers and 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 and, and online stores and and uh, stores, whatever, they will just order a lot of uh, a lot of products, and then there's not hopefully, gonna be hopefully, hopefully, I yeah, of course yeah. we're gonna produce again, but you have to wait a little bit more to get in your hand. So if you want it now, you better go to your favorite store. Yeah. Just say a word. One or, thing or you need to also keep in mind is that the ink pads aren't ready yet. They will be released end of August. We are releasing them today, as I show the whole collection. Okay. But the inks are going to be end of August, as far as I know. Okay. It's as good. Far as I know. It's good because, uh, you know, I know that some people, they will want them to have them now, but they can play with the acrylics and uh, they get used to, you know, if they're new in this, they can just, you know, they yes. feel more comfortable with acrylics. And then after they, you know, they play for a couple of months, then they also the inks will come out. And, yes, and they will the inks will come out by then. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's it's different because it's a chemical product. Uh, you know, it's it's a different production. I'm telling you so. That's why. Yeah, uh, and after not... COVID, things aren't so so easy. Yeah, yeah, production yeah. and. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah. So, uh, guys, you know, Vicky, we with just presentation, just talking about the products, just showing us your beautiful creations is already one hour and eight minutes. Just I just wow. understand. And 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 Vicky told me what we're we gonna do for an hour. One hour, I don't know. Uh, yeah, but. It's it's really interesting, and, and and what do you think, guys? I mean, go show some love, like like she doesn't have enough. She has enough love, but 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 go show her some love uh, in her uh, social media. Uh, we have to say, of course, a big thank you. I, I have personally say a big thank you to Staberia that finally we broke brought in a Vicky I, have, I yeah. have to say a big thank you to Staberia, of course, for bringing yeah. my dream to life. You know. And for yeah. being so welcoming. And I have to say that not only the people who, the owners of Tamperia are very nice, the whole family, the designers, I have been getting so many warm comments. We are, Everyone I'm is welcoming. Telling you, me. I'm telling you, we, uh, one after one, I haven't met uh, some, I, I haven't, I, I don't know very well the lady from uh, Venezuela, not Venezuela, from the lady who, who does the Casa Granada. Uh, I don't remember her. Uh, Omar, what's uh, her name? Write it in the comment. I don't remember now. I'm very, you know, I met her once in the convention and I don't really remember her name. Uh, but I'm, she, she seemed very nice. But I know very well the rest. And I can tell you, you are Everybody's, in a very, very, yes. very good place. We're not perfect. This is what you have to know uh, all the time. And I think because you are Greek, you understand that we're not perfect. It's like, like every family. It doesn't work perfect. Will be mistakes. Will be delays. Will be, you know, like this. But, but, but this... This not we are all people. It works, and they are very good people. I mean, this is what I have to say. I'm very happy about yes. that part. I'm not happy always, you know. Even with <laughs> it's not like I'm happy with everything. But but also them, they're not happy with me with everything. But but always will work, and is is the family. That's the most important thing. Is for me, yeah. it really works, and you it will be very out. very welcome. You will see also in Dallas. We're gonna meet in Dallas. We have to say. Yes, to I'm going to Dallas, guys. Yes, yeah, guys. If you are in the U.S., you better come in the uh, Stamperia reunion happening in Dallas. In uh, I, Do you remember the dates? In Nine, September. 9 to 11th of September. 9 to 11th of September. We'll be in, uh, in Hilton, Dallas. I don't know. We, you know we have we'll amazing go. classes. Amazing, yeah, amazing classes. classes. All the designers of Stamperia. We're going to be here. I'm going to be there. Vicky's is going to be there. We are just guests. We're not going to teach, but we're going to be there with you. Have yeah. fun. Meet and greet. Yes. Meet and greet. Uh, but but we, all the other teachers, all the other designers, sorry, from Staberia, they are going to be uh, there and teaching amazing class. So you better come if you want to meet us, and especially Vicky, the new member, uh, just come and visit us, and you're going to have a lot of fun, I'm 100% sure. So excited. So, 
I'm yeah. so excited. Thank you. Thank you, Adonis. You're the best host. Yeah, I know. I, I don't know if they, they just told me, you know, oh, you have to go live with uh, with Vicky with a new collection. So, oh, of course, yeah, 100%. But I know I don't know if they thought about it or you ask about it. But no, I know. Uh, uh, Aziza did the match. She said yeah. Adonis for you. And, then and I said, said yay. <laughs> it's just, uh, you know, Vicky, I know you. I mean, like yeah, because know, we know each other. Yeah, we I know you for so long, like without ever meet you because of the, your art, and then we met each other. But 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 you are just, you know, you are just, uh, you know, you know what's the weird thing with you is that you are so popular that people sometimes they don't understand because you are not out there. You know, you are super popular. I mean, it's not Am easy. I? Yeah, but it's true, Vicky. Come on, I mean, to say that I know you are very humble, but to have one hundred seventy thousand subscribers right now, maybe you are one hundred eighty right now. I don't uh, know. Well. Yeah, to, to, on YouTube, this is not cannot happen. Just everybody could do it, but no. No, it, it it's a hard work. You, you yeah, know? it's a hard a work for many years. So just you are not a person that you are going out and you say, "Yeah, I'm Vicky and this and that." You are not cocky. You are not like you are very humble and behind the camera. So that's why maybe some people they don't know. But I know you that you 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 are like a little bird that that has to fly, but but you prefer. To stay like to sit there and feel comfortable in your comfort zone. But you have if, been pushing me a lot. Yeah, yeah, but but you are very powerful. This is what you have to understand. This is just this is just talking. I know. Some like me, I feel more easy in the camera, or people think that because sometimes yeah. really I don't like it. But 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 you can do it. You can do it. People, I will tell you something that people also I think they will understand. They, they, they will they will agree with me that people they will love your collection and your designs. But they will love it more if also they meet the beautiful person is behind. And because you are a nice person. So the, you have to be out there. You have to, you know, as much as you want and as much as you can to talk, do maybe a live, do maybe go somewhere, you know, because go teach somewhere. This is very good. You know, Vicky, it's a very good opportunity. You go back to that. Yeah, at, yeah. At I, did, I did some, uh, some live workshops before COVID, but mainly in Europe. I kept, yeah. you know, close close to Greece <laughs> yeah, yeah. so that I could uh, fly for a weekend and come back. But because I have the kids, the family and so on, but now they are older and uh, I think uh, it's easier for me. So that's why I'm going to Dallas. Yes, perfect. Okay, so we have a lot of things to do. Very nice. Yes. Thank so, you. Thank uh, you. Big thank you to somebody and to you, Antonio. Of course. To wrap and everything. A lot of, uh, thank you so much for all the lovely comments that I see that are going... Yeah, that was a yeah. We I I don't think ever someone will break this this record today. It was Hi, amazing. Monica. I think Omar from the background can can agree. Like Omar, I think we never had so many people watching. He's moving his head. Yeah, so it's good. It's a lot of love. That's and I told you, she's popular. So what we can do? I mean, I mean, can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine all the people? Because you know, sometimes in social they don't know about. It. Can you imagine all your subscribers knew that you're going live and sometimes. And Everybody. Yes, yes. My son always says it's like uh, you can go in a in a football court and the whole court will be full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I I can't really understand that because I craft alone. I don't have crafty friends around here in Greece, so I don't yeah. really realize it. Yeah. I don't realize the number. I know, but I know it's just just your personality. It's not about you don't realize it. It's just uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I feel the same, you know. I never go around and I'm. I, I talk yeah, but like, everybody knows you. Yeah, yeah, but but they are waiting happening. for you like crazy. Nah, not always. But but me, I just travel a lot. Like this is what put me out there, I think. But that I'm really tired. I'm telling you, but but this is what what put me out there, and and it's nice experience. I mean, you know, I have received only good good things from the people yes uh, the so crafters it's, are always nice I find. yeah it's kind of blessing anyway yes. so to wrap everything together an amazing life it was a big big huge honor for me to be here and presenting uh, the lady who i was watching her videos when i was going even to toilet when i was <laughs> eight years eight years back and this is the truth uh, all these videos I didn't even knew that she was Greek. I mean, <laughs> oh no, I knew because of the name. But uh, and uh, yeah, amazing, amazing, amazing moment. I think for Samberia, for me, for you, for everybody, just uh, yeah, just an amazing day. And I know that 
more to come. Thank you. Thanks a lot very much. Thank you for the love. No. Bye bye, everybody. Staberia Live. Always bye. the best. See you the next time. Bye bye. Hi, I'm Vicky Papayoanu, and I'm a mixed media artist and craft designer. Welcome to Create Happiness, my very first collection for Staberia. Beautiful products and masks for supplies. But beware, it is a big 